Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Wild Like a Flower Gardening. My name is Sarah, and here is part two of my planting for this new pollinator garden. As you can see, I dug out the bed, and we're gonna add some more topsoil here since it's very heavy clay soil, and then I'm gonna plant. And hopefully, I will be off to get a cool drink after that because this is garden number three today. As you can tell, I already look a little grody, so hopefully I can get this wrapped up before it gets too hot, get home and have a shower, and cool off so I'm really excited to be able to share this planting with you I've done a few others but this is the one that I've been documenting on YouTube for everybody so I'm really excited about this so let's get right into it <music> So I just finished out putting all this new topsoil down. Puppy, please get out of my armpit, thank you. Um, and I smoothed out all this new topsoil and now I'm going to lay out all my plants and then plant them. I'm really excited to finally do the fun and pretty part and not the hot and sweaty, really difficult part. Hopefully it turns out really cool and the heat doesn't zap me too bad but it is definitely very hot, so if you are doing any sort of garden work, you need to be well hydrated, guys. This is ridiculous. I think I've gone through three water bottles since noon, just working on this garden alone, and I did two others this morning. So let's rock this out. Well, I know it looks like a big, muddy mess, but it's gonna turn out to be a really cool garden. We've got purple cum flowers, wild bergamot, black-eyed Susans, common bone set. We've got some different coreopsis in here, um, some ashy sunflowers, some blue labellia, blazing stars, all kinds of fun stuff. And then I snuck some uh, big sunflower seeds in here for the kids because they really like them. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna smooth out the soil a little more. I went ahead and watered because everything was really sad. Um, I had kept up on watering everything at home, but just being in tiny pots was probably not enough for all these big wildflowers, so they were a little toasty today. So I apologize if the camera quality is not great. I love Apple products so much and their storage limitations so much. So I'm filming on my iPad. Yay! Thank you guys so much for joining me for my pollinator garden installation. I really hope that my hard work inspires you guys to put in your own pollinator gardens. Or, you know, you can call me. I'm always looking to travel, so I'll do a garden for you any day. Um, but yeah, it is a lot of hard work, but I think it really pays off when you see how well uh, you support your local pollinators. And this yard is fantastic for butterflies. I've been seeing great spangled fritillaries, some zebra swallowtails, a few other swallowtails, and all kinds of really good stuff. So I'm really excited to offer them some more food sources, a couple host plants. I think it's going to be really great. So. I'm going to go home and get a shower. I wish you guys the happiest of gardening. Go get yourself a pollinator garden.